can I tell you that I'm the GOAT? I am the GOAT. I am the greatest. I am the GOAT. I am the greatest. I am the GOAT. What's up, what's up, what's up? And you're tuned in to Talk Your Shit, Capricorn. Okay. Now, the vibes. Let's get to the vibes. How I'm feeling? That's a fight. She want to fight. Uh, I'm ready to get this podcast. It's new season on the road. Y'all, my mental is much better. Um, I got a couple of good good things coming to me in the in the near future. Some things, some goals that I'm accomplishing and you know, putting this in the works right now. So I feel real good. Um, you know, this wine, you know, it helped a little bit. You know, it helped a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm glad y'all tuned in for season two of talk your shack capricorn and i hope you enjoy this topic so this is the new and revamped um i wanted to switch up the name because you know i just want to be more me i feel like i wouldn't as loose and over time i've been checking out other channels people how they do their podcasts a little bit of you know how they how they do and i see that you don't gotta come all uptight and stuff like that so you get me you get the real raw me talisha okay so for y'all for those of you that are new here my name is talisha marie and that's how i'll be introducing myself on this channel okay so talisha marie is the name and today's topic is going to be dating is deadly in 2023 so what I mean by that, y'all see it all around the world, like people in these relationships, marriages, it ain't even just the single people. People are out here just getting, just getting offed by their significant others and because of jealousy and people just crazy and people can't take rejection, don't know how to move on and stuff like that. So... I'm here to give my opinion on the the single life that trying to date out here these days. 2023 is hard out here, and I'm I'm gonna speak for the women, us single ladies. It's it's hard out here for us because, in my opinion, I don't want just anybody that says I look good or my butt big and all of that, 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 that's just, you got to come with more than that. And then we're seeing all of this stuff on the news about these ladies getting, I don't know if I can say the word, so I will be saying unalive. They're getting unalive by their they boyfriends and husbands. And sometimes it just be dudes, it could be an ex or, or dudes that they just met and uh, obsessed with them and they don't even know it. And then they end up being stalkers and get to the point where they they just can't take rejection and then you know they unalive you so um i've been hesitant in this dating game like i want to get out here and date you know i got a person that i talk to we mainly talk over the phone or whatever we talk through text messages you know that's how we really communicate and this is a person i've already known this ain't even nobody new so me wanting to get out there and date somebody new i mean i'd be having second thoughts i met somebody new i met a couple of people new new men in my life and i don't know i look for the red flags and the first red flag for me me having a two-year-old you tell me you can't tolerate kids your nerves bad red flag you out you don't even get three strikes when you tell me that you out of here you scratched off the list you next next period so that'd be a red flag for me and just just the conversation i go off our conversation if you start off we start out we have known each other a week two weeks and you already talking about my body you know what i'm saying in, in a sexual way and, and just period it's so i don't mind a man compliment me so let's not get that twisted i don't mind a man compliment me on my looks on my body on my 
the way I parent or whatever like that. But it's the way it depends on how you're using it in a sentence. It depends on what you're saying when you compliment me. Is it a compliment or are you trying to insinuate that you want to get in my pants? And when I feel like that, it's over with too. Because I done learned to be alone and I'm happy. I'm happily single. Happily single. So it's nothing for me to cut somebody off. It's nothing for me to cut you off when I feel like you going in a direction as far as, you know, giving me signs that that's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know. Eventually, a woman, if a woman's feeling you, eventually you'll get there. Eventually, you'll know. You'll know sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go off her vibes, how she talks to you, how she act around you. Like, so you don't have to, men, you don't have to just be pushing all up on a woman like that. You know, nine times out of ten, us women, we already know we look good. We know we got a fat ass. We know, you know what I'm saying, we got sexy lips big breasts whatever look curves we already know this you know what i'm saying we take a bath every day we, we put on our clothes every day take our clothes off you know what i'm saying so we know this so when you come off to me as is as making me a sex symbol for you then it's a wrap i mean it's okay the first couple of times we first meet you want to compliment me but then if it's a continuous thing it's over. I can't, I can't do it. And I will express it to you. Like, why are you always talking about my body? I'm 39 years old, baby. That, that don't impress me. Sex is easy to come by. It'd be a lot of shit out here. Hard to get rid of. So sex don't impress me. I mean, I don't, these days that, that ain't all what I'm looking for. It's a part, it'll be an important part in my relationship when I'm in a relationship. But yeah, so I'm skeptical about when men, you know, talk about the kids. They don't really care for kids. Uh, when they talk about my body um, and I get, when I get vibes like they already clingy, I don't know, y'all. I might be overthinking it sometimes, but I be feeling like, mm, he already kind of acting, you know, too clingy or whatever. So let me bag up because you give me like weird vibes. Like you could be on this stalker type shit. You know what I'm saying? So that, that'll kind of make me take a step or two back. And I won't necessarily just stop talking to you, but it'll kind of make me more observant and try to figure you out and make sure i'm on my p's and q's okay so things like that um it's deadly out here it's 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 deadly today in 2023 and i don't know where to start i tried to start but when i get them back like i said in them situations i done got those type of vibes peace out i'm out the door so um yeah, I'm just out here. I'm, I'm just out here chilling or whatever. And y'all, it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp. I'm trying to tell you. But no, I'm kidding. I'm not no pimp for that. But it is hard out here for a single woman that's trying to to date and be and you know be established and try to make sure I'm still protecting my children at the same time. Cause when you got children, no matter if they grown, if they still in the house with you, if you got little babies, whatever, when you picking these men, for me, I got to keep in mind my children because I don't, you know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I'm still protecting them when it all boils down, they come first regardless. You know what I'm saying? So I have to um, make sure I'm looking out for them as well as myself and I just feel like, baby, because if I get one, you're gone. You're gone. Yep. So, y'all, I'm sipping on some wine, some little Moscato, some light. You know what I'm saying? Some very, very light. So, what y'all think about it? Y'all free? feel free to comment down in the comment section. Leave a comment on your thoughts. 
about dating if you're single if you are in a relationship like you know it's still dating to me if you ain't married you're dating that's how i feel about it and that could be another topic too but uh yeah i just I, i'm very skeptical these days about getting in relationships with just anybody like and i don't know these days i think it's more common to meet men and women through social media i guess because social media is i guess the thing now and so um i don't be knowing whether if i do like keep talking with somebody in my inbox for a long time like months and then decide to give my number like do i do that i just be wondering should i just go out to a little nice spot and you know just have a few drinks with my with my with my cousins or whatever and you know see if something comes to me because i was told i was told and i know this already but i was also told that you don't you don't chase them you let you let them come to you i ain't gonna say chase because you know what i'm saying you gotta jog a little bit now you, you ain't just gotta full out chase me but you gotta jog a little bit just a little bit just a little bit but uh you know and see if you know i get some action See if I find a nice guy, a cool dude, just to start out with talking on the phone, texting, FaceTime, and I'm cool with that. You know, just to get to know a person, you know. Um, and you'll never really know a person. But for me, knowing you two, two weeks, a month, two months, ain't going to get you to my house. I'm not coming to your house. We can meet out, you know, and go have dinner, lunch take little walks in the park i feel a little safer you know with stuff like that but you knowing where i live and me coming to your house and we barely know each other i mean i don't know what you got planned for me i don't know what's in store for me so you know i i just rather do it like that you know what i'm saying just start off slow and i you know that's slow for me you know it might be you know everybody to each his own but that's just me and um yeah so i be out here skeptical y'all i be want to have that grown folk them grown folk vibes to be around grown folk and i don't mean like being around my family i'm talking about uh uh you know person of the other gender you know to kick it with to you know have that adult time with you know just to you know release some steam talk have drinks dinner go hiking like i don't know just 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 somebody that you know cool person that, that can make me happy and you know we make each other happy and can laugh just that's what i'm looking for i'll be 40 this year the end of the year be some 31st capricorn capricorn baby but you know i'll be 40 and so i want i'm starting to switch up the mentality um health wise just all this stuff going into my 40s so hopefully going into my 40s if god see fit i'll have me a, at least a friend a friend guy that you know what i'm saying we vibe and you know we basically on the same page with with what i want what i'm looking for not necessarily looking for but you know if it finds me then this what i want in a man and so yeah, that's that's what that's what's going on. So dating for me is slim to none right now. And you know, I really want that to change. So I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I be trying, I be trying. Like I was in a store the other day and this guy, he was in line behind me. So me being me, I don't like my back to nobody. <laughs> these days people be coming to store shooting and doing all that crazy stuff i don't really want my back to nobody so this is the line i turned this way standing in line he was behind me i need to see everybody that's behind me i don't need no no don't care you're not gonna catch me out god with none of that but um we was kind of talking and stuff and it seemed like he was a little shy too like he wanted to but i don't know but we just had a little casual conversation while we was waiting in line because it kind of took a little while you know i don't know if something's going on with the rich or whatever but um nice looking guy whatever and so i think that's how i am starting want to start off just like being in a grocery store or 
going out for drinks or like standing in line and then I work my way up because I do get nervous you know when talking to me I don't know I guess because it's kind of been a while since I've just had a real relationship like type thing and so I get kind of nervous when guys talk to me especially in person I, I'm totally different over because you can type you can be a totally different person on social media, you know, through the text or whatever. So I am more comfortable that way than when I am in person with a guy. I'm, I'm more reserved and a little shy. So I was talking to him in my head. I'm like, girl, just, just keep the conversation going. Just keep talking to him. It's, it's cool, y'all. Just talking about nothing, really. You're talking a whole lot of nothing, but you're just having a conversation. So he seemed cool or whatever. But I don't know if I would if he would have asked for my number. I don't know that I would have gave it to him though. I'm just gonna keep it real. But it was a nice little combo, and you know he won. He wasn't disrespectful enough. He didn't give me them type of vibes. I don't know. He might have could have got my number. I don't know. I don't know. But I always ask if you got a woman. But that don't really matter because men men lie. Yeah, y'all do. Some of y'all. So don't come for me. Don't come for me in the comments. But some of y'all do. Some of y'all do, you know, tell fibs when you see something new and fresh and you like. So, um, I don't know. He, he might have could have got my number. You know, because what could have phone call hurt? So, um, yeah. So, that's what, what, what's going on with me right now as far as dating. And my opinions on dating. Uh, like, it's just, it's a crazy, crazy world. I be on YouTube a lot, a lot. And all I see is women getting mostly women that are getting unalived by their boyfriends and husbands and exes it'd be a lot of that going on too like i said it's just hard to know who who can take rejection well who you know what i'm saying who for you who got that evil in them who got them you know demonic type energy like you know, for the most part, I can feel that type of energy, but you still, you just never know. So, <laughs> dating these days is hard. You got the men thinking that the women is supposed to take care of them and chase them. No, we're going to do 100 100. I don't mind doing 100 100. We can do a 50 50. But 100 100 means you pour into me just as much I pour into you. You, you give me that same energy that you want me to give you. I'm not taking care of you. I'm not providing a roof over your head. I'm not doing none, none to that. Like, and cause you know, a lot of these men don't be working and these women be taking care of them. They let them ride their cars around while they at work making the bread. And I'll pay, but that's not me. That's not me at all. Never have been, never has been me. So, um, yep, I, I just, I just can't do it. Y'all might see the sun in a little bit. I got my blinds open. Yeah, but that's not me. And, and it make it hard for good women like me. You know, I don't think when even in my younger days, when I was dating, I was doing, I was having fun in my younger days. I ain't gonna lie. But it comes a time when, you know, it's time out for that. Like, baby, you gotta, you gotta think the future you gotta think you know stability and you know what i'm saying all of that so you know it's it got it came it came a time for me where playing the field got old it got old for me and um and it just was a time that that i just woke up and was like man look it, it, it ain't all about the money but you like i said you gonna be dealing with me i'm gonna be dealing with you where the stability is I need some stability. You got to have some stability, some maturity, some God in you, like that type of stuff. That's, that's the type of stuff that I'm on. Like, we can't just be fucking. I'm over there. I'm past that. Like, it was fun for back in the day when I was a young gal, just having fun, living life. But, baby, I, I'm going into my 40s. I'm 39. Like, it's time out for that for me. Can't speak for all people, all women that are 39, because everybody don't have the same opinion and feelings as me. But this is speaking for me. I'm 
I'm not doing it. It's, it's cutthroat for that. And if you don't feel me, if you don't feel me by now, you're going to feel me. You're going to feel it. You, you'll know. If I'm dealing with you and, and I feel like I don't have no problem with cutting you off. Because like I said, I'm happily single. I've learned to be alone. I've, hey, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably more comfortable with being alone. If I do get in a relationship, man, you're going to have to open me up because having my bed to myself or sleeping, you know, just sleeping in a bed with somebody, having to share a bathroom and all this and that, that's going to be totally new to me. I've never lived with a man, for one. Of course, you go spend a night over your man's house, your man spend a night with you. But like actually living together in my 39 years, I have never shacked up with a man. I've never, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just, I just never have. I guess because, you know, I had my daughter in um, 19. So, you know, I've always had to be protective of my child, my children, because I got three now. So, but, so I think that played a part with me, like, me being careful with that and I want me different men around my my children so when I did used to have my fun back in the day nine times out of ten my kids would be like with their grandma spending the night over some cousin's house maybe with a pappy back in the day like something like that and then you know that's when I might have my friend dude or my boyfriend whatever the case may be, and then he'll come spend the night or whatever, I go over there. But I just, I don't know, I guess that's why I never really had a man to live with me. I don't know, like, and I've never just, I'm curious. I am curious, you know, 39, like I keep saying. But I, I'm curious to know how what that'd be like. Like, I think, if I ever get in a relationship and get a serious relationship, I would want to just start it off maybe as you spend a week here, a week or two here, I spend a week or two, you know, just to probably kind of get a feel for, for you know, what it'll be like and see if there's something that I'd ever want to do, you know. And, of course, I get married one day. Of course, we're going to live together. So, uh, but in the meantime, between time, they don't always work like that. You don't really find people these days really, oh, wait till marriage, then we move in. It ain't too many of them. Comment down below if you did that, if you did that. Whether you're young or in between, let me know if you waited until y'all were married to move in with each other, you know what I'm saying? You know, but um, yeah, my my older kids, they, they I got a grown, my dad got a 20 year old almost a 17 year old and a two year old. So it's like, I kind of got to start living for me. And you know, my happiness and what, what I want in life. So yeah, but it's just always good to be careful when you are out here trying to date, do your do your homework, do, do the background checks as much as you can. You just got to do your homework and be careful and, and don't ignore the red flags. And this is me talking to the single women out there, men too, but don't ignore the red flags. Don't ignore the red flags. When you see him, don't wait until he start beating on you or being verbally abusive, talking crazy to you or whatever the case may be. If he start off in the beginning like that, start off in the middle like that. Like, just don't ignore the signs. And I know I won't be ignoring the signs. Like, these days, baby, I'm on my P's and Q's. Like, mm -mm. I'm on my P's and Q's with men in a relationship, uh, going outside into these stores. I'm on my P's and Q's all the way around the board. So it's going to be hard to pull one over, pull the wool over my eyes. And the only way the wool get pulled over my eyes, baby, if I wanted to get pulled over my eyes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now, for real, though, um, yeah, so you just got to be careful. That's all I know. Don't ignore the, the red flags. If you get any red flags. Hell, everybody, everybody put everything on social media these days. So, if I do meet a guy, uh, nine times out of ten, they got a Facebook, Instagram. They got some type of uh, page that you can go and kind of do your homework on 
And baby, because you got to be a private eye too. You know, I used to be that back in the day. I didn't really go through phones and stuff like that, but at the same time, you know, you know, you know. So, yeah, you do. I be doing my homework on on through the through the, through the internet. Get to meet a person. Get to know how he treat his mom. Like, see how he interact with his family. Like, what kind of vibes they giving off. If you get around family and they trying to throw a man at you, they trying to throw him at you. Like, hug up, get him on up out of here. Get them, take them. Red flag. Red flag. Why y'all trying to get rid of him so bad? Is he crazy? He get on y'all nerves. He schizophrenic. Like, what? why you want to get rid of him so bad? So, you know, that's, that's what, what I'm going to be doing. Paying attention to the signs. And, um, yeah. But it, it is, like, it's scary trying to date. Because you just never, you never know. So, I stay prayed up in my prayers when I ask for love and happiness in the relationship. You know, I, I always say make sure that God fearing, honest, and stable mentally. <laughs> Not just the money. You got to come stable mentally too, baby, because there would it be sometimes. And, you know, so for me, I've learned how to love myself. I've learned how to love being by myself. I've learned how to love being abstinent. Like, uh, I I was celibate last year, some of this year. I went like, mm, I went nine months. And, you know, I was just celibate. You know, and for me, when you going through something, it's just my opinion. But if I'm going through something deep and heavy, like, you know, I lost my dad last year. My biological dad, that was tough for me for different reasons. Um, it was just the COVID. It was just being stuck in the house, me having a small baby. So, and me not having that, you know, that help that, you know, I would like from, you know, the other parent or whatever. It's all good. I ain't going to go into that. God worked that out. But, um, yeah, so... I was going through all of that, you know, that de little depression and stuff. So I wasn't thinking about getting my rocks off. I wasn't thinking about getting my rocks off. Like it was easy for me. And that ain't my first time doing it. So I done went a year, a little over a year before with just being by myself. When I feel like I'm into in too much into a man, I'm in too much into a man than I am God, I got to pull back. I got to pull myself back and I've had to do that before I went celibate and for over a year and you know sometimes it takes that for you to find yourself and know how to become stronger mentally physically emotionally like the whole nine so this time around the vibes got to be vibing you know you just gotta you gotta make me laugh you gotta be I don't want to give her everything away because you know then people people do put on these personas and and you know put they be imposters and then they'll just whatever you tell them then that's what they're gonna try to be just to get you know get close to you so i'm not gonna give it all away you just you know i, I know i'll know when when the time comes i'll know i'll know when it's real but um yeah right now i just i just wanna i just want to date and mingle to see who, you know, I could possibly start cutting a person off if I'm dealing with a different person. Because, hey, like I said, I'm single. So, I mean, you ain't got to sleep with everybody that you're dealing with, you know. But me going out having fun and dinners, dressing up, going to the golf, little play the little golf and go to museums and stuff like that i'm down for it you know what i'm saying i'm down for stuff like that so you know it ain't always got to be about sex it ain't it don't have always have to be about sex you know show me a good time show me i, I just want to get a feel for your personality and your attitude and your your temper do you have a temper like that's what i'm trying to get to know i'm trying to get to know your core these days I'm trying to get to know you to the core, you know what I'm saying, before, you know, 
I just get all that deep. And I know you probably got to get a little deep to get to the core, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Like, I got a cousin. She even tried to hook me up with this guy. But the age difference, it just was too big of an age gap. I'm older. I ain't no cougar yet. I'm not trying to be no cougar. <laughs> so um, it was an age gap, but I know that you can't put age on love, you know what I'm saying, or a connection, but I don't know if you too much younger than me. I can't, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Like you, you little baby to me, you little baby to me. I'm not trying to pacify you. And he's like, you know, he mature, man, you know, in the head. He he ain't on that little boy stuff. You know how guys be. But I don't know. It's just, I just, I don't know. I just can't go there. I couldn't go there. And he was he's too young for me. Probably would. I'm sure we would have lots and lots of fun. But you know, the more time you spend with a person, the more the feelings going to come. And then next thing I know, I'm in love with a damn 26 year old you know what i'm saying like <laughs> a 39 26 that'd be 10 that'd be like 13 14 years apart Ooh, daddy you think you finna collect my insurance money my 401k mm -mm. yep so um that's that's where i'm at right now y'all i'm single i'm happily single but i'm open to dating you know I'm open to happiness and fun times, and, you know, and whatever happens, you know, if something is to, you know, become of that, who am I to turn it down? You know what I'm saying? Who am I to turn it down? So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully soon, soon somebody will step up and, you know, man up and, you know, show me, show me what it's all about. Because to be honest, I don't think I've ever really had a real man to just be a man, be a man for me, like a, like a, a provider. And I'm not just talking money. I'm talking about like a provider, making sure my oil is changed on the car, my gas tank is filled, making sure I'm good. I don't need no lunch, making sure I made it to work safe, you know, make sure I got home safe, make sure. You know what I'm saying? The kids ask about the kids. No, I, I ain't never really just had that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't never really just had that. You know, nigga, a nigga gonna time to time ask about the kids. You know, especially when it first, you first get with a guy. You know, they gonna try to throw that in there or whatever. But just having a man to be a man and make me feel secure and nah, so. I don't know when the time come. I don't know. Your girl might be head over heels. Y'all be like, Talisha don't come outside no more. She don't post no more. Nah, we'll be outside, but I'll be outside with him. But I won't be outside, outside, like, outside with, you know, partying and stuff. We'll be my man, my man, my man. Okay? My man, my man, my man. <laughs> yep. So, I hope y'all like this podcast. Y'all, I just want y'all to get used to me doing solos and don't get so caught up in me always having somebody on my channel. Because as you can see, I can hold my own. I can hold my own conversation by myself. I can, you know, I can talk that talk, baby. So, you know, I just want to y'all to have this first episode is just, you know, me kind of letting y'all in a little bit on what what i'm about what i got going on because i don't think I, I did it in the first my first season that's what i call this the second season this is a brand new season you'll see more of other people on here though but i just want to make sure y'all get used to me and love me by myself because at the end of the day this is my channel so we're gonna have be having a lot of talks girl talks boy girl talks 
Whew, a lot of kind of talks. And I will be going live. Uh, Y'all going to be catching me live sometimes too when I have these talks, okay? I just did this pre-recorded today because I didn't really... I knew I wanted to talk about this, that uh, dating is deadly in 2023, but, you know, I wanted to do this. I'm going to do a part two of this because I got some single ladies and some single men that I'm going to kind of get to come on here. We're going to do a part and two. And with that being said, thank you for watching Talk Your Shack, Capricorn. And we will be back with another episode. Do I gotta tell you that I'm the